Hi guys and welcome to the Family Fudge. And welcome to another week of School Lunch Inspiration. Before we get started, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Next we have our shout outs. Today's shout outs go to Sydney, and our Instagram shout out goes to Dancing Bree. Make sure you stay tuned towards the end because we're gonna take a vote on the special name for you guys. Now let's get started. Hi, Hi friends, friends and happy Monday. Monday. Right now I've got both of my girls with me. Say hello. Hello. And I've just finished making the lunch. What do you girls think? It looks pretty cool. Yeah. So since today is Monday, of course we have... B and J. That's right. And today I just used my flour cookie cutter to make it a little bit more fun. Oh yes, and we are using our Planet lunch boxes today. We actually really like these. We like the plastic ones too. So we started off, of course, by making the PB and J. We're using creamy peanut butter this time, which is different. And we're also using a blueberry jam. To go along with that today, I'm also serving lots of fruits and veggies. Over in this corner, I have a little cutie, and I went ahead and peeled it for the kids already, so it'd be a little bit faster for them. I also gave them some blueberries with a cute little pick. Over here, I have some cucumber slices, just a few, but to dip these, instead of ranch, I put some hummus. In this tiny little section, usually I put a treat, and today I just put a little fruit leather square. I only had two of these, and so I cut them and gave everyone a little piece. And finally, in this back corner, I have some chips. These are called bugles. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have ever tried these. We don't get these super often because they are really salty, but the kids love them, especially Lily. Yes, I think. And what do you like to do with them? Put them on my fingers and eat them. That's right. We put them on our fingers and then we eat them. So with today's lunch, the kids are just gonna take their water. We're gonna keep it nice and simple. And that is it. What do you girls think? Oh, yeah. Does it look like enough? Yeah. So now all I have to do with these boxes is just close it up and put this little clamp on and it's good to go. And we'll see you guys when we get back. Okay friends, lunch is over. I've got Mackenzie and Jackson here to tell me how it went. What do you guys think? It was good. It was good. Well, I can see that you really liked it, and I can see that Lily really liked it. I know she really loved the blueberries most of all. But Jackson, he has a little bit of a sandwich left and a little bit of hummus. What happened, Jack? I was full. You were full? But what was your favorite part? I liked the fruit leather and... The, br the bugles, the chips? And this. The hummus, yeah. I really liked dipping the bugle things in, in the hummus. Yeah, that is really good. Well, overall, they did pretty good. Yes? It's pretty cool that like the bugles and the hummus are like glue for the bugles so we can like stick them together. <laughs> yeah. And we'll see, see you, you tomorrow. tomorrow. Hi guys, and happy Tuesday. <laughs> Very good. So I've had a lot of requests recently to show some more hot lunch ideas, and that's perfect for today's lunch because one of the best things to put in a thermos is leftovers, and so that's what we're doing. A couple days ago, I made this pineapple barbecue chicken in the crock pot. It was actually really easy. It's just like barbecue chicken, but you add pineapple to it. Now to go along with our leftover chicken, I'm also giving the kids some leftover Hawaiian rolls. We had a big party for Mother's Day over the weekend. We have lots of these rolls left, but they're nice and soft still, so they're good. Over in this corner, I have some raspberries with a fun little pick for the kids to use. And then over here, I have some sugar snap peas. Do you like those, Lily? Yeah! Okay, now I do have a treat today. Do you guys know what these are? It's, no. a, it's a new kind of Oreo. Let me show you. These are the Pina Colada Oreo Thins. Yes. So they're like a tiny thin cookie with the pineapple and coconut flavor. Now I've tried these. I'm not a super big fan, but let's see if these guys like them. Let me know in the comments down below if you think the kids are gonna like these or not. Now the very last thing in today's lunch is yogurt. I just gave the kids each one of these Go-Gurt simple pouches in the mixed blueberry, oh, mixed berry flavor. Does that look like enough? Yeah! 
Okay, I'll probably need to give you a fork so you can get your chicken out. And you can put the chicken on your bread like a little sandwich if you want to do it that way. And then they're just gonna take their water today. So now all I have to do is get all of my lids on and then we'll be ready to go. I will see you when we get back. Bye! Lunch is over now and here's how we did. Right now I've got Mackenzie and Jackson and... Lily! I have Lily with me too. So, oh, and I have Griffin too. You can hear him in the background. So there's Mackenzie, she did really well. Jackson did really well too, but Lily, oh, she did okay. These raspberries were actually from Griffin. Griffin gave her his raspberries and she didn't eat them, but she did and eat everything of, else. Speaking she, of raspberries, he blows raspberries. Yeah, he does, I really don't like that. But she ate all of her peas, she left the outside of the peas, but that's okay. Okay, let's check the thermoses. What did you guys think of the chicken? Yeah. Very, 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 very good. Oh, Jackson has a little bit left. And Lily has a little bit left. So you liked it, but it was was it too much? Yeah, it was too much chicken. I I like half of it. Half of that I, chicken. I really, really like it. I like how it smells. And I used the bun on the first thing. Yeah. It was so, because there was so much, I tried to fit it all in, but it wouldn't work. But the question is, how were the new Oreos? They were really, 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 really good. Really, really good. I have another. <laughs> another one? Okay, well. You can, you can smell them. I'm glad that you guys like them. I didn't think that they were that good. I prefer the lemon ones. We'll okay. see you tomorrow. Good afternoon, guys, and happy Wednesday. Right now I have both of my girls with me and I just finished making lunch and usually I plan out lunch. I know exactly what I'm going to make but today I didn't have a lot of time so I kind of just threw it together using what we had. First I made some chicken salad. We had some leftover rotisserie chicken and I just chopped it up and to this I also added some grapes but I didn't know that when I was at the store I actually bought grapes that have seeds. So I had to make sure to cut out the seeds. Usually I buy the seedless kind. So next time, I'm gonna be more careful. I also add a little bit of onion powder, some salt and pepper and mayo. If I had celery, I would have definitely put celery. But I did remember to sprinkle in some almonds, so it's pretty good. And then I put together the rest of the lunch. Look interesting guys? Yeah. It's kind of a combination I haven't served before, but I think it'll be good. So back over here I have a little bowl of cottage cheese. The kids haven't had it in a while, but you like it, right? Yeah. yeah. Do you think Jackson's gonna eat his cottage cheese? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Let us know in the comments down below if you think Jackson's gonna eat his cottage cheese or not, because he might not, but I hope he does. Now back in this corner, Kenzie, do you know what this is? Carrots? It's carrots, but these carrots are in fun little strings, so that might be fun. Over here I have our favorite kind of pretzels. These are the square butter pretzels. They're really tasty. And then I just have a big piece of cantaloupe for each of the kids as well. To drink, the kids are just gonna have water today. And of course, I'll show you how they did when lunch is over. Lunch is over now, and here's how we did. Here's how they did. Jackson did okay. He did eat his cottage cheese. Good job, Jack. Did you like it? Uh-huh. I yes. want some more. You want some more? How did Lily do? Good. What about your sandwich? Mm -hmm. You don't like it? Did you even try it? I see one little bite. But she did eat her carrots and her pretzels and most of her cottage cheese. Mackenzie, she ate everything pretty much except for her fruit. What was wrong with the fruit? It was a little bit big. A little bit big? So do you give this lunch a thumbs up, a thumbs down, or to the side? Thumbs up. You got two thumbs ups and one to the side. And we'll see you tomorrow. Hi guys, and welcome to Thursday. Our allergy friendly lunch. That's right, right now I've got Mackenzie, Lily, and Jackson. Say hello. Hello. 
So today I tried to make an allergy friendly lunch so there's no wheat in here, there's no dairy, no nuts, no soy, and no fish. Definitely no fish because I don't like fish. <laughs> yeah, you're not a big fan. Or salmon. Nope, no salmon. You like salmon. Or tiger fish. Yeah, no tiger fish in today's <laughs> lunch. <laughs> Definitely not. So what I did give the kids in their thermos is sort of a chicken and rice dish. This was actually made from some leftovers. <laughs> I put some broccoli in there. It's actually really good. Let us know in the comments down below if your mom makes chicken and rice. I know lots of kids like chicken and rice, so I'm thinking the kids are gonna love this. To go along with that today, I'm also giving the kids a really fun, special cookie. I found these at Walmart, and they are free of the top eight allergens, and you guys, they actually taste good. Sometimes when you find this type of product that doesn't really taste good, but these are delicious. So a little chocolate chip cookie over here. In this corner I have some blueberries with a little heart pick just for fun. And then back here I gave the kids some popcorners. I found these at Costco. Now these do have corn, so if you have a corn allergy I would stay away from these. But they are dairy free and nut free. So they look like this and it's kind of like a popcorn chip. They're really tasty. I'm also giving the kids a special drink today. They haven't had a juice in a while, so I'm just giving them one of these apple grape ones from Costco. They're really good. Does it look like enough food, McKinley? Yeah. Yeah? I think my favorite part's gonna be this, this, and popcorns. Yeah? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get all my lids on. And then after lunch, I'll show you what we ate. That's what you know now. So what'd you guys think today? Yeah. Good. 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 I see everyone has a little bit of something left over. What did you think about the chicken and rice? I liked it. Yeah, was it just too too much in there? Yeah. It's pretty filling, yeah. I probably should have given them less. And Mackenzie left some of her chips. Did you do you have chapped lips? Yeah, it it stung my lips. Yeah, yeah, sometimes when your lips are chapped, it's hard to eat salty things. Okay, and Jackson has a few blueberries left. You're gonna eat those now? And Lily has a little bit of her uh, chicken left and just a couple of blueberries. She did a really good job. I'm gonna finish all my blueberries now, so I finished this whole thing, but not this. Oh, was it too much or you didn't like it? Um, I wanted like a piece of bread. You wanted it in bread, like a sandwich? Uh -huh. Okay. And Miss Lily over here is gonna eat Mackenzie's chips, <laughs> so it's not gonna go to waste. Now tomorrow is Friday, you guys. I have a new special surprise themed lunch. So you have to wait till tomorrow to find out what it is. Okay. Leave us a comment down below if you think you know what our special theme is going to be. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. It's incredible. Hi guys and happy Friday. You can totally tell today we're doing a special themed lunch, but the kids haven't seen it yet. So, you guys ready to come see? Can you tell what it is? Emoji! That's right. Now actually Lily helped me make the sandwiches, didn't you? Yeah. But it's more like a grilled cheese. Comment down below if you like emojis and tell us what your favorite emoji is. So for today's lunch, I started by decorating the boxes. I got these really cute napkins and cupcake liners from Walmart. Now our cute little sandwiches today, Lily actually helped me make, but it's really more of a pizza quesadilla. Let me show you how we made them. For this, we're using some really small flour tortillas. Lily helped me to cut the cheese into circles. And we also used our heart-shaped cookie cutter to cut up some pepperoni. So we did tortilla, a little bit of sauce, cheese, pepperoni, more cheese, and then we topped it with another tortilla and then I went ahead and melted these together. Now this isn't gonna be served warm, but that's totally fine with us. Then we decorated the top with our pepperoni hearts, and Lily also cut out some circles that we made into smiles. What do you think about the quesadilla, guys? It looks uh -huh. cool. It's gonna be yummy. Now back over here, I cut up some fresh pineapple for the kids. Now I won't be eating any of this, but the kids love it. It's actually super sweet and ripe right now. Over in this corner, I gave them some yogurt. This is plain vanilla yogurt. And then I put one big sprinkle on top. I got these really cute emoji sprinkles at Walmart. 
and they're just so cute. Over in this corner, I definitely have a special treat today. I have these little chocolate balls that look like emojis. And I've actually been holding on to these since Valentine's Day. I got this big bag of chocolates long ago, so they're perfect for today's lunch. Over here, I do have a little extra snack for the kids today. These are the emoji-shaped graham crackers. And these are actually the little characters from the emoji movie. So let me know in the comments down below if you've seen the emoji movie. And let us know if you liked it. And finally today, I'm also giving the kids a special water bottle. I found these at the local grocery store and they were 99 cents each. We'll see you after lunch. Lunch, lunch is over now and, and it was delicious. Yes, you can tell they really liked it, although I do see some pineapple here and Miss Lily, what happened? Um, it was too much. It was too much? You wanna share it with Jackson? Yeah. All right, well Jackson's gonna finish that up and that's totally fine. Okay guys, what was your favorite part? I like the tortilla. The what? The tortilla. The tortilla. Yep, that's what Jackson calls tortillas, tortillas. What do you think, Mackenzie? It was yummy. What I like doing is getting the cookies and mushing them up in there and then eating them. Oh, so you put some of the graham crackers in your yogurt? Uh -huh, I did that too, and we all mashed them up. Yeah. I did it too. That does sound yummy. What was your favorite part, Lil? Yogurt because I ate all of it. You did eat all of the yogurt. But what about the pineapple? I have a cut on my tongue and it hurts. Oh yeah, pineapple can do that. Well, great job today, guys. We'll see you next week, bye. Okay guys, it's time for your vote. We wanna know what special name we should call you. We have three different choices. I'll leave your comment down below on what you pick. We have fudgies. We have Fudge Links and Fudge Fans. Okay, let us know which one you like the best and the one that gets the highest votes will be the winner. Let us know which lunch was your favorite. Comment down below. And we'll see you next time. Bye.